Um, and a lot of times we were traveling on game on, on trade deadline days because there wasn't a lot of games. There was some games still played on trade, de- trade deadline games, but you tried to avoid them a little bit for these reasons. And so that means you would travel the day before with the idea of playing, you know, the next day. So, um, you know, I, I remember in Ottawa when I got traded from Ottawa, you know, um, I, I heard on, on the radio, on the TV, as I was going to the bathroom in the hotel. In Calgary, hey, wait, 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 hold on. We got to set this up properly. Okay, I've, been, I've been waiting to tell this story. So hold on. Oh, sorry. Sorry for jumping the gun, Brent. Okay. So let's, let's back up to uh, perhaps going into that day. I think you're in Calgary, right? So let's start with, it's probably nine in the morning, probably somewhere in there a little later. Well, I think we flew in that that day early. We might have came from Edmonton or something, but uh, I remember running into our room to turn it on to find out, you know, who's getting traded and what's happening. So, yeah, so we got in that day, and I remember running into the room and literally throwing my clothes in and running into the to go to the bathroom, and it was like maybe quarter to three at the time, and uh, that's when I heard. Now I no wait you're just you're, you're not selling this as good as it is. You are now sitting on the crapper while you're hearing your name called on the TV. If I'm not mistaken, I wasn't sitting. I was standing. So <laughs> <laughs> so that might tell you what was going on. But um, yeah, I I was somewhat disappointed to find out that way. I think a phone call might have been nice earlier to you know instead of hearing it that way, but. Uh, you know, geez, what's the GM's name that we had? Marshall Johnson at that time made the trade with Jacques to get uh, Barrasso. And Yanni Laukinen and myself were, were moving on to Pittsburgh. And, um, you know, afterwards, Marshall Johnson called and said, I'm really sorry you heard it that way. Because the story got out that I was in the bathroom. when it, You know, and I think that at the end, he kind of apologized and said, I'm really sorry about that. But you're going to Pittsburgh. <laughs> he was not a man of many words. I do know that. Um, yeah. So I, I don't think you saw that coming, that particular trade, because you guys were rolling, if I'm not mistaken. And I think the year before you had, you know, that great run of what your, your goals against was, what, 1.73 or whatever. Um, is this like a complete shock? It was, um, you know, Barrasso had played six games, you know, so they're bringing a guy that hadn't played all year, you know. And, you know, Patty Lillian was there. Um, Patty was putting together some – some good years. And what I found out afterwards is I went to Pittsburgh actually to be the backup. They, you know, they, they weren't that interested in me um, at the time. Uh, Yanni Laukin and they were getting a good defenseman, but I was going there more or less to be a backup because they, they wouldn't buy me a mask. You know, they, 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 I'm like, when's my new mask coming in? They said, well, you ain't getting a mask. I said, well, we still have a few months to play. When's my mask coming in? And uh, the, the trainer there, Sevy, I ended up going to him and saying, listen, if we make the playoffs, you know, you guys buy the mask. If if we don't, I'll buy the mask because I wanted the mask. <laughs> so I, he goes, hold on a sec. He picks up the phone and goes like in the phone in his office and calls up and goes, okay, it's a deal. If we make the playoffs, we'll pay for it. So that's how, <laughs> like, it was like, God, you know. So that's when I knew uh, uh, John Sebastian O'Ban was the goalie at the time there. And he was playing the games. I was backing up for the most part. So um, you know, in Brasso, as I said, it only played six games coming to Ottawa. And, you know, I, I think Jock, uh, you know, felt he wanted a guy that had done it before kind of thing. And I think Jock had a lot of input on it. Um, but I got him for years to come afterwards because Jock had run his uh, hockey schools up in the in uh, Rockland area. He ran hockey schools. And after the trade, he called me for that summer. He goes, hey, Ron, you're going to come and give me another day up at the school? I said, well, is Brasso busy? he went quiet on the phone and he goes okay you got me all right and let it go and he goes but are you coming i said yeah of course i'll come talk the next year same thing he goes you coming for a day is brassel busy again this year (laughs) how long are you gonna do this for you know so everybody knows how serious of a guy jock is but uh you know i was more than willing to joke i knew jock since i was 16 17 years old so 